Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy Tactics A2. Last time we kind of had to deal with um, a good bit of things including having to deal with some of the first sights of the undead. It won't be the last either. You may notice the, the not only is the month completely different and the day completely different, that we have two different quests just sitting right here and we're actually sitting on top of it. Uh, before we actually do those, I do actually want to go over some different changes since the last episode. We actually got Seeks in our clan and oh I actually do need to change these here because he is learning some of these. Um, Let's actually do Avoid Traps, because honestly, Avoid Traps is probably one of the better ones out of the two. It's really, really nice. Um, <laughs> it That way, like, um, you know, all those times we stepped on a trap and it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, yeah, they actually won't spring them. And it, they can just walk right on top of them and stop there. And... As you can see, stat-wise, this guy's a little bit better. Um, it's kind of funny. I I was going about and I saw someone wanted to join the clan, and he was one. Ostin was one, the first guy. And then I did the clan mates quest, and I got uh, Rodal, which is actually kind of interesting. Um, so we do actually have a new race in the clan, which is actually really cool. Um, also. I don't know how much it, they've kind of well he's gotten close to mastering it a lot of people got uh, close to mastering things Dolroth is now an animist he mastered Molotov cocktail and right now there's not really anything else for him to learn so I changed him to that uh, because to become a flu seer he needs to have an animist and so th that is also needed for Moogle Knight I am not going to change into a black mage right now since, look, we have three black mages. We don't need any more. So I'm not going to worry about trying to turn him into a time mage. Um, as far as the others, uh, she's gotten a little bit uh, further on. Uh, she's almost mastered her skills there. And she's almost mastered focus, which is really nice. Uh, other than that, not too much has happened. There is one other change. Uh, our friend here did learn, Luso, learned Magic Hammer and War Dance as Blue Magics. So, he'll be able to do MP damage and also increase people's attack. Uh, what I did is I basically went to, uh, throughout the places we've already unlocked, and fought monsters. And, and that actually does get you some money, so that's why we had, well, we had some, but I spent a lot of it buying stuff, so, as well as these two quests. So, without further ado, let's go to battle. And this mission here, or this uh, quest here, only unlocks after you have a Seek in your party. It's interesting. It, well, it... That, or I have incredible timing. I'm not entirely sure, but I didn't see this until I actually had a, a seek in my party. Okay, we cannot harm any Hume. Oh, that's fantastic, especially since one of them's a black mage. I guarantee you that's going to be quite ridiculous. Um, but we only have to defeat... Uh, where is he? This guy. He's our mark. So... We, get, we just have to beat him before he boards his ship, which is over here. It's not entirely difficult, but hey. Um, also, let's actually bring Dolroth. Uh, we'll bring Adele. We're going to mix it up here. We'll bring our ranger, Ostin. Our fencer. Um... We'll bring Pur. <laughs> I, I can't even pronounce. 
his name. And we'll bring Rothgold. We'll proceed with these party members. Also, I got debuff resistance, one, so I cannot get poisoned if I have this. And bonus gill. Let's actually do that. <laughs> these gems were after. These gems were after our own ship, boys. Let's get what we came for and make for make ourselves scarce. Kibo, sorry, pirates, but this car goes under our protection. <laughs> and just who do you think you are? You're the, a brave one to stand up to the Veluga, pi uh, Veluga pirates. And foolish, we'll have that cargo. And do you expect us just to hand it over, Koopapo? Let's stop those pirates from getting aboard this sh ship, Koopo. Yeah, it, as we kind of saw the last time as well, whoever is the first person that we put on the field to fight is the ones uh, who uh, actually talks. So, As you can see, we can see the traps that we have set as well, which is nice. That way we don't have to worry about it. And... We'll have our Koopo friend 100% wool! And with this, shell and protect. Adele. Okay, what do you have? Just rush and then those. Alright. Um. I, I, I don't know why I'm just curious about this. Oh, okay, yeah, he... that I, f I remember he was learning something, but I couldn't remember it. I forget. Alright. What are these pirates going to do? Well... Cast Thunder. Alright. That's with Shell? Good grief. All right, well. Let's see. Hmm, if I can... It depends on if my Numu can jump up there. I doubt it. So, we'll see. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I won't be able to do anything this turn with him. Oh, well, you got silenced. Not that it really matters with this guy, but... It more matters with him. But, we'll see. Um... Critical haste. Let's have some bees attack you. No? No, oh, fine. Uh, yeah. See if I can actually somehow trap the guy. Uh. Also, I don't know. If she she had mastered Mug Gill. I don't know if I. That was after the uh, end of the last episode or not. Nah, I can't remember. Anyway, <laughs> I did a lot. It it didn't seem like much. Uh, but a good bit actually happened. Ah! Well, you can't cast any spells, so I'm okay with that. Alright, um... Acrobatics. Do I toss the Molotov? Hmm. 
Alright. Um, let's toss it. And he went berserk. Okay. Well, that's not the most exciting thing there. Low is he? <laughs> oh man, this might take a while. At least for our new man. Arrow. Maybe I shouldn't have done berserk. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have. That hurt. Okay, where are you going to go? Right there, okay. And I can't hit you, unfortunately. <laughs> and you're going to do the same thing. Oh, gosh. Really? Oh, gosh. Why did I take so many new people? because she's really badly hurt. Alright. Eh. Oh, there he is. But he's in a position to where I don't want him to be. Oh, that hurt. Uh, let's do high potion real quick. And we'll move him out of the way. Hopefully this will be a better way to go about this than what I'm thinking. Oh boy, this fight. Alright, um... Oh, that's really gonna hurt her. Um... Let's... Heal her up. I should have actually done a lot. I should have moved her further out of the way, but I didn't think about it, unfortunately. Strong arm. Oh, yeah, I forgot, it makes sense, but I forgot they could steal, that, no, oh, that's just unfortunate, on every level. Hmm. Alright, what are you gonna do? Oh, gosh. 
I'm in bad shape. That's it for me. Oh, sorry, buddy. Sorry. Okay, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna just shoot somebody, or... No, you're focusing. Okay. Alright. I'm actually in a good shape if I do this. Oh. Unfortunate. Alright, well... Let's actually move a little bit further back. Uh, let's bring Dullroth back. I know, I'm sorry dude. I didn't mean for you to go through all that. Oh gosh, you're gonna try to steal from me too? Oh my gosh. Oh, why are you running? Uh, I don't need you running. I think you saw what I was trying to pull. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> Alright, how about have some of this? Oh, I would be hitting him. No, gosh. All right. If I can at least drop the numbers of these guys, that would be a little bit better. Wouldn't be completely better, but it would be a little bit. Alright. Well, not that the silence did that guy any good, so I'm not going to complain too much the fact that I didn't... that he lost his silence. Alright. You want to try something like that? Alright. Let's see how well you... Pull off that stuff. Oh. Well, he didn't aim for my animist, so what is he gonna do? Okay. Oddly enough, that heals one of my guys. So any damage you just did was completely moot. Alright. Let's do that. Um, I'm not gonna do that. Let's kind of hold off on that. Um, oh gosh, I can't get up there. Who was it? I guess it was him. Alright. Yeah, let's try it. There we go. Took him out by Molotov. Take that. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, you're gonna do that. And take her out. Ugh. Uh, fine. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. We're gonna do Fyra on him. And... 
Let's do... That. So if you tried to pull anything, you wouldn't be able to. There we go. I prevented you from actually coming here. Sort of. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what's going on. Oh man. It's crazy. Crazy, I tell you. Alright. Let's do... Molotov again. Using HP critical, so... That's some. And at least he can't actually cast. But... That guy can. Sorry. Who is he? Ouch! Oh, that's not good. Oh, well, that's not gonna do much. I'm... Thank goodness. But that does... Actually not steal. <laughs> I'm surprised. So the first time he actually did try to steal something, it actually did something. Very rare. Anyway. There we go, we got rid of him. Rag! Okay, okay! You'll never s we'll never steal again! Please forgive us! Ha <laughs> ha! The cargo is safe. Yeah, I don't know why. Rough gold. Oh. oh, I actually thought that was the the uh, thing to actually get the pirate. My bad. My bad. So, yeah, it it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, I, I guess it was just coincidental when I actually went to go look. But, yeah, with, um... Oh, really? I gotta be elementalist. Ew. Oh, boy. Um... I'll master one more, and I'll get her to learn a burial. Um, but yeah, it, the missions that will give you classes to either the Seek or another race, the I I don't know how to pronounce it. It's the flying folk that we've seen it earlier um but I, those job weapon at eh, job weapons what job quests don't show up until after you get your first uh person of that class so that's why i was saying hey this wouldn't normally show up um, but apparently that wasn't what I was thinking it was, so my bad. Um, let me actually look at it before I actually, uh, look into more about it. Yeah, you can only be a berserker or a ranger, uh, the viking, and I forget the other class that you can make them, uh, they're locked, so... It might be a while before they get theirs. Um, I'll get another one of those. Um, I'm trying to think what would be best one for us. Um. Well, no. Uh, gosh. 
Oh, it's but Well, no. Berserker was the other one that was already there. Uh. Anyway, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I thought I knew, but I didn't. Uh, Celestine wants to protect someone. Yeah, protect a deer tree to her and her brother. No. Oh. Okay. Well, let's protect this tree. From what? Giant anteaters! Because of course they want the tree. <laughs> Don't know why, but they do. Defeat ten foes and keep them from the tree. Restoring MP is completely forbidden. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I am be definitely bringing Damas here. Um... Oh gosh, Adele needs to level up so badly, so I'm gonna bring her again. Um, Ziso, yeah, I can bring you. Well, let's bring Rothgold as well. I don't know their, I can't remember their weakness. Um, and I'll bring Luso because I'm not sure if there's a. I can't remember if there's like a ability he can learn from all of that. Um, let's go for I I'm, I know they do blind, but I think they also do poison. So let's just give debuff resistance. All right. Ah, look at those hand lions. We fight and we kite them away from the tree. Oh. Apparently my headset is losing its battery. Ma buy it. Um Well Let's just wait here. As far as Luso Hey Oh you know what? I didn't even Well no, yeah I did. No I did. <laughs> Ma buy it. I was thinking there for a minute I didn't look at everybody uh, who actually um, mastered, but you know what? I actually might not have. Oh my gosh. It's so not cool. Alright. Uh, yeah, I do have Beast Lord, but I don't actually have Antlion, do I? No, I do not, so... Was that completely pointless? Maybe. Alright. Um, oh, they're weak to wind. Of course they are. The one spell in Suggestity that I, I actually have but I hadn't mastered. Alright. Well, anyway. That aside, the ant lions they're more annoying than anything it, from my experience because ant lions they're typically not strong. It's just that they're... Uh, amongst the a group of that they will uh, either poison you or uh, do some sort of status effect and it's just annoying that's more along their lines than anything it's not too bad but overall it just it's just uh, they're not as bad as, like, the Lamia, because Lamia are the worst when it comes to this. Because they'll cast Charm, Sleep, all that kind of stuff. Thankfully, these guys will usually only do Poison and Blind, which, while they are annoying in their own right, it, it's not as uh, annoying. All right. But yeah, enemies are going to keep appearing, and we're going to have to take care of them. But, as you can see, our job is to keep them from the tree, which literally means don't let them get right beside it, which, it's incredibly easy. If, if you actually fail this, it's kind of sad. <laughs> I mean, I can understand it if your people aren't strong enough, but... If you don't put your people in the right place and just let them come, it, 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 it's sad. 
I, all you have to really do is put your people at these choke points, and it, the ant lions can't win. It's a very easy mission. Mirvella. And it's almost like Cruella, uh, except it's Mirvella. Uh, Mir Actually, it's Mirvelfa. Uh, yeah, Mirvelfa. That is like the weirdest name. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, I, you know, every enemy in this game has a name. Even, like, even, as you can see, even the monsters have names. So the fact that they had to just make up so many different names, it's insane. And the crazy thing is, is uh, if you actually play long enough, I, and we'll probably see it through this uh, playthrough, because I'm going to try to do all the quests, um, you're probably going to see repeats of old names. I, whether, um, I, 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 I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I'll ever <laughs> notice it, but some of the, like, the more memorable names that just are completely bizarre and don't make much sense, those are the ones, the ones that usually stick with you, depending on, like, either, oh man, this guy was a big pain to deal with, or what have you. It, they, it, you, you might recognize some of the names eventually, because I've actually seen that before. It's like, hey. And it just goes to show that the, the names they have are completely randomized. It, it makes sense. But... An antlion named Burning. <laughs> that seems kind of weird. But, you know, that's his name. Ugh. That's nasty. What? What kind of name is that? I gotta check this. Tagwashiba? Tagwashiba? I, I don't even know. Ugh. This is just something else. It's a Tagwashiba. I don't know. It... It, I personally find it amusing to look at all these different names and it just go, what were these people thinking when they were writing these names? <laughs> or were they thinking when they were making these names? That's a whole different question. Really? You're running? Ugh. Oh. My heart pounds. Alright, well, Mr. Heart Pounding Guy, be as tough as Niles! Do you think that helped tip the scales? Eh, I don't know. Uh, considering the facts of everything, probably not. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm gonna have a couple of my guys chase after these get these enemies. Most of them are going to stay back and help protect the tree. Oh, saliva. No. I don't want that. Good. It didn't do what it was supposed to. Um. I'll have Lucio wait at the tree. Ah. Uh, unfortunate, Zizu. You're going to have to hang back a little bit. Because in case one of the ant lions show up behind my dragoon. Oh, the golden one. Alright, well. Yeah, it's called Pit Beast. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this guy can hit like a truck. Oh, fantastic. Um... How about have some of this? And... let's see... Are you able to handle some of this? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But have some. Uh, 
And... Okay. I can, and I will, completely incinerate you by frying you. No? Didn't work? Okay, fine. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. Fire Breath does 60. Um, what about just attacking? 61. Uh, air render? 69? Oh, fine. Go for it. There we go. Did a little bit more than normal, so... Don't know if it would have made too much of a difference. We'll see whenever my paladin goes. Got some wool. And take care of the view. Oh, there's another one. Norchet. I. The thing is, a lot of the there there's such a. Oh, excuse me. There's such a long list of um, names. You probably won't see it, and it, it's entirely possible you will never see a repeat of a name. But it's also very possible you'll see a repeat of a name more than once <laughs> at times, because it's all random. But let's do a little bit of a war dance. Unlike the bunny, I do not shake <laughs> anything. But anyway. Let's just kind of have him go over this way and just make sure he can dish out some serious damage. Yeah, well, let's just make sure you get on your knees. Uh, no, really? Huh. I thought that would have done a lot more damage. Or at least the damage would have put him in critical. But anyway. Oh, really? Well, that's unfortunate. Um, let's kind of move back this way. And hopefully I will be able to, uh... Really? What's with the saliva? I'm just... Uh, what, will you... Will you not? At least a good bit of my people actually have counters, so if they get attacked, they'll hit back, but not everyone has it. At least my big heavy hitters actually have it. There, now he's an HP crit? No, oh, fine. Whatever. Um... I'm actually going to nurse. Let's get from there. Shell and protect fade. Completely understandable. And let's do some damage. Um. Yeah, let's just take care of him. K.O. And here I thought I needed to go one way, but... Uh, I thought that they were heading down to where Luso and all of them were, but they decided to come back because I moved my people closer. Uh, so, we're just going to have to roll with it. Oh, gosh. Ouch. But have at it. Oh, come on! What's with you people throwing your mucus on others? It's disgusting. And the last thing I need is slow, but that's what I did. Oh, fantastic. Ew. That's nasty. 
Um. What? I, just out of curiosity. No, I wouldn't have been able to. Alright, fine. Burn. Yeah, at lion! Alright. Um. Let's take aim. And. It's not bad. Alright. Let's take him out. Fresh water? Oh my. And more saliva. <laughs> Ugh. Just utterly disgusting that this guy is doing this. Alright. Alright. Can't quite heal our friend over there, but we're heading there. I believe he's the last one, so... Let's see how well you do. Yep, yep, this is gonna hurt. Alright, and we're also gonna throw a heal out to our friend out there. Here you go, buddy! Oh, well. So much for that. Oh, really? If wasn't one person wasn't enough, you try to mucus somebody else. How about now? You get punched for that. Oh, man, that would have been nice if he could have done that. If he could have pulled it off, that would have been fantastic. Actually, you know what? Since I have the ability to do this, uh, just for fun. Oh, no, not Burial Blackout. Uh, but I'm gonna have Ziso take him out since Ziso actually has less, um, levels. Taking out an enemy actually does pretty well for somebody, so we'll have Ziso take him out. Alright. That's all of them. The tree should be safe now. Hmm. Let's take a look at it. Hmm? There's something carved in the bark. Down here it says, Celestine, age 4, Kelvin, age 6. Up here it says, Celestine, age 5, Calvin, age 7. Ah, it looks like Celine's much taller than her brother. What else does it say? Further up it says, Celine, age 6, Calvin, age 8. At the top it says, Celine, age 7. Calvin, age 9. Gr Grossbert. Grossbert? Bah! Not enough, apparently. <laughs> Man! <laughs> Savage. Anyway, Ziso, Adele, and Mouvery gain a level. Alright. And Luso gains the MVP, which is also good. Alright, well, well, that's a thing. We didn't really move anywhere, but we, we did do some things. Alright, let's actually look at this. Alright. And for that, we are good on this. Now we can... I could become an illusionist or a time mage. If I want to be an alchemist, I need to do two... Illusionist. If I want to be an Arcanist, I need two Time Mage. Um, I'm gonna do Illusionist, and he could learn Freeze Blink. Right now, that's actually the only thing he can learn. All right, we'll go with it. All right, you mastered Swarm Strike. Um. Oh, man. 
yeah, I got a lot more weapons for fencers. I'm gonna have her master all the fencer abilities. I can actually get her to master, so we'll have that. Um, right now, he's learning his third, well, fourth, and he's learning the fifth. So I'm gonna have him become the time mage afterward. Um, because I don't see the point otherwise. And unless I go to, like, Beastmaster and White Mage and so I can unlock Sage, there really isn't too much. Yeah, I have to have two White Mage to unlock Illusionist, so we'll become a Time Mage some other time. Uh-huh. No. No, we'll come to Illusionist some other time. We'll have it, a Gurner become a Time Mage, and then after that we'll have him be an Arcanist. And we'll go from there. And Al Peta, sorry. Um, he's slowly learning. He he's got he's got he's getting it. He's getting it. Um, he's almost mastered double hand. Uh, she's trying to master that. And you've almost mastered defend. You're mastering ice breath. Kind of getting there. Uh, silence gas, burial. Feather Bloom. Alright, well. Let's see if um, there's a couple of other things we can pick up in terms of the store. Um, and not, yeah, the bazaar. We're going to see if we can make other stuff as well. We can, so we'll go ahead and go through this. So, um, I while I'm doing this, I'm going to kind of go a little bit into this, um, just simply because I feel like it's needed. Um, I, I, I'll be honest, it, it has been ridiculous trying to keep up with, I, I gotta hand it to people that actually do this, uh, the videos, like, five days, five, it's like seven, like every day of the week. Because, good grief. Um, it's just a lot of work <laughs> to do it. And I, and I get that that's the whole point. It, they, they actually do it as work. But um, since I'm kind of doing this as a hobby that I hope to see it grow in, into something a lot more than that. But we'll see how everything goes. But... Um... My whole thing is, is I don't know how I'm going to be actually able to um, do, uh, like, keep doing, keep this up, because, good grief, <laughs> um, there is a lot that, um, has been it, it it feels like if I'm not at work I'm at because they're actually giving me more and more hours and stuff like that which is good it, but it, it's also kind of oh my gosh it, it's tiring because I come home and I'm trying to either record or edit so it's just something else entirely um, so as much as I really I'm kind of sad to do this but I think it's necessary for me to at least have some sanity um, I'm gonna knock it back from doing it Monday through sat Saturday to like having it four days a week, like maybe have it like Monday, Tuesday, and then, um, Thursday, Friday or something like that. I don't know. Don't quote me on that because I have no, I, I just, I want to have some time to where I can actually record and edit and not feel like I have to record and then go immediately to editing it and then trying to get it to export and stuff like that because good grief I, I kid you not the last episode yesterday's episode seriously took like four hours to render <laughs> it was so bad uh, it was like I'm glad I pre-recorded that and had it edit throughout the night and I had edit did the editing uh, and I hit the render on because I was rendering it on Thursday 
It seriously took four hours to do that. <laughs> and I had went to go export it before I went to work. And it was like, oh gosh, that was something else. But anyway, let's do the Silver Sun Edition since we actually didn't um, read it the other day. Uh, this month in the bungle, uh, hunting the hunts, a fierce battle between the undeath ensues between our hero relic head editor and the forces of the ghostliness. We have got the scoop here. Uh huh. Other headlines: I ain't afeard of no poltergeist. Now talking or now taking on orders from Auntie's anti-haunt charms. Uh, debate: Is our head editor afraid of ghosts? Special column, our head editor weighs in. Me and auntie, the meaning of afterlife. <laughs> Words from our editor. My auntie's an awfully gentle soul, and when I was a boy, eh, but a boy, I came home crying and she'd sing me a song or give me a treat. I'd feel oh, all right. I'll never forget your kindness, auntie. Just stop haunting me. Head editor. Bang a bundle. Yeah. That's something else. All right. To kind of give you guys an idea of what we're going to do next time. We're definitely not doing that. <laughs> but, um... Uh, wanted big eyes for the count of three of the disruption of business and 25 counts of inducing shock. Uh, big eye possesses a singularly large eyeball. Um, okay, so this is just a taking out. It, like, take them out quest. We are going to do Wanted Big Eyes for next time. We are also going to do... Um, uh, even above wares, the large number of counterfeit uh, and ribbons is one of our finest products. Made it way through the market. Counterfeit's trying to pass ribbons. Must that quickly. All matter of haste. Um, we'll also do that. We will... That one, I'm gonna wait. No. The only real reason why I actually got in so much trouble is because I broke the law right there. But, um, let's go here real quick. Uh, there was an incident the other day while I was making out a delivery of a load of potions that I was meant to look for. ended up getting scattered on the ground when you helped me collect them. Oh, and. This is between you and me. The fewer people know about this, the better. Trader from a certain potion manufactory. Ah, oh, fantastic. We'll pick that up as well. Um, Death March. Wanted participants for the game, greatest game in Ivalice. This time, it's the Death March to the Victors. Because spoils upholders of the law. And the Pukers Gamer Guilds. For Dispatch Sage and Scholars. We don't have either of those. Um... Uh, we'll pick that up as well. It, this is probably going to be something we'll do throughout the uh, the few times a few times we actually have this. Uh, it's a trap. Mistakenly, this little trash for sale. I'm afraid for the socks, making them quite dangerous. He actually, and we, I, I need someone to just destroy them. Uh, let's actually see if uh, dispatching this will work. I don't know if it will or not. Yeah. And I don't have the ability to actually um, take care of it, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, we'll also pick up the story mission, Pearls in the Deep, and... Uh... Mammaries. Um... Yeah, a lot of these are just kind of all over the place. So, Rose Fire. Oh my gosh, phone! And, um... We'll pick up Way of the Temen just so we can pick it up. But yeah. We'll do that. Um... Oh my gosh, that gin... Oh my gosh. All right, as you can tell, we're already off to something. Anyway, 
thank you all for watching, and in the next one we will do a couple of these missions. The way I'm going to go about this is I'm probably going to do like two quests per episode. Um, that way it's not incredibly long, but as you can see I already did two of them and it's still incredibly long. So we'll see how all this is going to work. Um, since I am cutting it back, I am probably going to be okay with doing the longer episodes. So we'll see how this all works out. It, I, if I am still going to do like the half hour episodes, I'm probably going to just do one quest per episode, but that seems kind of ridiculous at this point. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.